We are starting with the sixth chapter, angles. Now, last year you already learned angles. So, let us revise quickly about the different types of angles. The first type that you learned was right angle. You know that the right angle is always 90 degrees in measurement. We do not need to measure it also by looking at it. You can make out that this is a right angle. Now, an acute angle measures less than 90 degrees and an obtuse angle measures more than 90 degrees. Now, let us see if it is really less than 90 degrees or more than 90 degrees. You have your protractor, you can keep it here and you can see this is on a straight line. So, it is 90 degrees. Can you see 90 over here? Now, here let us see this shows you around 55 degrees. From here 0, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50 and 55. So, we know that this is less than 90. Therefore, it is an acute angle. Now, let us measure this. Actually, just by looking also you can make out. From here when we measure, we have already come to 90, 100, 110, 120, 125. So, we know that this is an obtuse angle because it measures more than 90 degrees. Now, we have different clocks given in our book. Can you see the different clocks? Write whether the hands make a right angle, acute angle or an obtuse angle. Okay, so, now we come here and we look at all the clocks that we have in our book. We do not have to tell the time of course, but purposely I have given you two different colors. I have given you the hour hand that is the small one in red and the big hand that is the minutes hand in blue. Of course, you can tell the time also, but here we do not have to tell the time. Here we have to tell only what is the angle. Okay? Now, here we know it is 10, 30. Now, how does the angle look? You know that if it is a right angle of this type, there will be two lines in between. Now, here there is more than that. So, that means it is more than 90 degrees. So, therefore, this will be an obtuse angle. Okay? Now, we come to the next clock. Here, you see that it is 830. Now, what type of angle is this? only one line in between. So, here you know it is an acute angle. Here the time is showing 3 o'clock, but it is exactly 90 degrees. So, this is a right angled triangle. Now, if you look over here, the small hand is between 3 and 4 which means it is past 3, but it is not yet 4 o'clock. So, here the time is 3.35 and the angle is obtuse. You have your boxes in your textbook, in that you can write down the answer directly. But use a pencil, in your textbook never use a pen. So, then you cannot rub out any of your mistakes. So, you can use your eraser also very neatly you write in your textbook. Now, let us look at this. Here, it is a quarter to 6 or we can also call it 545 and this also forms a right angle. Now, the last one here you can see it is 10 o'clock and this is an acute angle. Have you got that? 